All right, so today we're gonna to be doing another quick After Effects tutorial. And this time we're gonna be going over a super simple text effect that we can use to either create an in or out animation, um, or just as a animation for static text, just to spice it up a little bit. And I'll go over both. So um, I figure we'll probably start with the in, but anyways, here's a preview of the effect we're gonna be working with today. All right, so for this effect, there's probably multiple ways you can do it, but the way I use it, we need two apps. We need Adobe After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. So if you have the Creative Cloud apps, you're good to go. And to me, Illustrator was just the easiest way of doing this and getting a pretty good result. Especially if you use Overlord, which is a paid plugin. Otherwise, you can use mo motion tools and import the AI file and then extract everything from there. Anyways, let's hop into Illustrator and get this tutorial going. So first of all, we want to start out with a canvas that's going to be the same size as the canvas we end up using in After Effects. So in this example, I'm doing a 1920 by 1080 because it's nice and simple. Then you want to start off by going into Illustrator and putting in your text. Now this can be whatever for this example, we're just going to use um, lucky as our word just because, you know, why not? Then we're going to scale it up to the size we want it to be. And then we're going to pick a font. This is going to be the final font of the animation. So pick one you really like. Me personally, I'm going to go with integral CF on this one. Super nice font. All right. So once we have the text where we want it and have it centered, um, just to make it easy on us, we're going to make sure that this is center aligned the text just because it's going to help us out quite a bit in a, in a minute when we get to the next step. So now that we have the first font here, what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this font a couple of times just underneath because it doesn't really matter. The more letters you have in your word, the more fonts you want to choose. But in this case, I'm going to do four different fonts before we get to the final font. So now that we have our four copies, I'm actually just going to move these above um, just because that's how I like to do this. Now we're going to pick four different fonts and I'm going to go for display fonts or serif fonts just because they look uh, more interesting. And this will really help create a better look for the effect. I have a couple of fonts in mind, so I'm just going to search for the ones I want. Now for this first one, I want the Stussy script, which is a super sick font. And then I think I also want Brams, which is another really nice serif font with some nice um, details to it. And then for this one, I think I'm going to go Ryoman is Ryoman. There we go. And then for the last one, I think I'm going to do SK Pop. Pupok. Now that we have the different fonts here that we want to animate with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on each one and then I'm going to create outlines. This basically makes the letters into a shape that we can move around, scale around. Um, and we're going to do this because we want to essentially line up each letter with this letter here where it's supposed to be. Um, and that way we get a way nicer looking result in the end instead of the font jumping all over the place. It could be a good idea to keep in mind what kind of fonts you're using so you don't use some fonts that are crazy different in sizes. So what I'm going to do now here is if you click A in Illustrator, you can select um, it uses this tool so you can pick each single one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of roughly line it up with each one um, so that they're kind of centered. And this is why I really like using Illustrator because it makes it a lot easier to move around each character rather than going into Photoshop and cutting up each letter. All right, once we have all the letters lined up with our original word, what we're going to do is make sure that they are all ungrouped. Um, this is going to make the process so much easier in After Effects, it will look a bit crazy in the timeline, but it's I found it a lot easier to work like this instead of having the words grouped um, in shape layers in After Effects. And of course, we want to make sure that our original word, we also create outlines from that and then ungroup it, which will just make it a lot easier in After Effects. Now, once that's done, we want to select each word and kind of line it up down here, we're going to just move it around a little bit so they're kind of in the same spot. So all the L's are kind of in the same spot, all the C's, U's, K's and Y's. And since I have Overlord, I can go ahead and select everything that we just did in Illustrator and I can click push selection to AE. And then once I'm in After Effects, I can simply use motion tools and then click extract and that'll put each letter in its own shape. Now you can work with it being everything in just one it's just a lot easier to do this because we're going to do a lot of cutting it can easily be very overwhelming if you do it otherwise you can always go in and save each individual letter as a png and then line them up inside of after effects but this is by far the easiest way to do it and if you don't have overlord i highly recommend it so get on it now we have a bunch of layers and none of them are named because um 
you could do that in, in Illustrator, but I did. So what we're gonna do is, usually they're lined up pretty good in terms of um, the same way. So this is our original ones. So this is our Y, K, C, U, and L. And then I'm just gonna select these and pre-comp them. And I'm just gonna name it integral. Everything else will follow that same scheme. So once we hide the integral letter, the next five will be of the SK per park. The next five will also be the, the next font, Ryoman. The next five will, funny enough, be brands. And last but not least, we are gonna have Lucky. Oh, the Stussy script, I mean. That's what happens when you read stuff and don't pay attention. So now we have each of our fonts pre comp which is nice and easy, so far so good. Now what we wanna go in and do is go into one of the pre comps and then you wanna kinda base this on how fast you want the animation to be, but to begin with, we'll make each one five frame. So what you can do is you can go up into this little time thing and select five and then you have it there. And then we wanna click backspace and then you can Select all of them, right click, keyframe assistant, and sequence layers. Now, as you saw there, it only does it, it does it from top down. So right now the animation is reversed. To change it, either you can go in and change the order, or if you have the motion tools, set the offset to five, because each one is five, and step to one, because you want each layer to go. So in motion tools, you can scroll through which kind of way you want to sequence them, and then click sequence, and it'll sequence it for you. So as you can see, very nice and easy effect. And we wanna redo that with all of the steps. So we wanna go in, five frames, shift command D, backspace, go back to the beginning, highlight all of them, sequence. To go back or forward in frames and after effects, you can hold the command key or control on windows, I think, and just use your arrow keys to go forward. Command A, shift command D, backspace, go back, and then we will sequence once again. Now for this last one, we gotta remember that this is the text that we want to stay on there for a little while longer. So we're not gonna cut off the letters, so highlight them and sequence by five. So they just stay on. And now once now we have the base animation down, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna sequence all of these layers by five. And this time I'm gonna do the opposite way because that's how the fonts are laid out. And there we go, there we have the effect. One letter at a time, it's gonna animate in, and since we lined up all the letters, it doesn't look super wonky, and it just kind of scrolls through the letters. But that's essentially how you recreate this effect. Now, you can do a couple more things to make it look a little nicer. First of all, for example, we can add an adjustment layer, and I'm gonna add a fill, just cause black is not the nicest color in this background, in my opinion. So we're just gonna do a slight off-white, and then what we can do is add an, another adjustment layer, and then go ahead and add a turbulent displace. And now we wanna set this top value. I usually go for a five by five, just cause it's very little. You can even go 10 by 10. It just depends on how much you want it to wiggle. And then we can go into evolution options, random seed, and then you can do time times 100. And then it'll automatically go through. Now you can see it's very quick. So you can always set it to less. You can set it to five. And now it's a very subtle animation. So it just depends on how big you want it and what type of effect. I want more of a wiggle or a jiggle, whatever you want to call it. So a slower works and then a higher. If you want to go smaller in either the amount or size, you can get more of a sketched look, a way more rougher look. If we zoom in and we change the size down to two, for example, and the amount way up, you can see we get more of a roughened look. Anyways, this is pretty much good for how we want this effect to go in for this this particular one. How can you use this type of style of animation to spice up static text? If we go in and make a new composition and we add another word, we can do lucky again. Now After Effects has a very nice tool which is you can animate most of the properties of text. So if we open up the text layer and go into text and keyframe the source text, this basically whatever font you've used or whatever the text says or you can delete letters or add layers that's what the source text is. So if we go a couple frames forward, double click the layer to go into text edit mode, highlight one of the letters and then pick a Stussy font for example, go a couple frames forward again, highlight another letter, 
and then we can do brands on this one. Go ahead another couple frames, highlight one of the letters we already did and change it back to integral for example, an italic one, go forward a couple. Let's do the L and let's do, let's do this one and then forward a couple more and change the Y back to the original. So we're gonna go into integral and I think we used a demi bold for this one. But this is basically a pretty simple animation you can do. And if you quickly wanna revert back to the original text, you can Command C, Command V, the initial frame, the keyframe, and then it'll go back. And this effect is super easy to loop. You can just copy and paste it multiple times in a, in a timeline and then it'll just keep repeating. And since you ended and started on the same keyframe, it's an infinitely loopable animation. And this is an effect I like to use a lot just for little words and whatnot, just to kind of spice up, just to add some motion to the words and create some more visual interest. But yeah, that's two pretty easy ways of how you can use different fonts to create a pretty simple animation. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Super quick, super simple, um, and doesn't require too much knowledge of Integrate After Effects or Illustrator knowledge. So. That's always a plus if you want to be in a quick workflow and create something unique very fast. But anyways, until next time, I really appreciate you watching and um, I'll see you again in about a week or so. Thank you.